All right, welcome back guys. Today we're gonna to be doing an oil change on the E46. So, the car is right here. Let's open this bad boy up. All right, gotta get this window. It's so gross. So, there's been lots of People saying, oh, don't use 5W30 for Mobile One, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, oil is oil. It doesn't really matter. If you want to fucking sit there and try saying that you have to use BMW's oil, like, you're fucking dumb. It's just a whole marketing s scheme. And plus, Mobile One was supposed to be uh, with BMW, but, you know... The other one, I think it was Castrol or someone else, uh, as the new, the new guy. Okay, so there's that. Oil filter, nice and, nice and clean. Let's get right into this. Right, first, we're gonna warm the car up. Get the oil nice and fluid-like. Start this bad boy up. A little nice twisty twisty. Oh man, this thing runs so rough. I need to, can't wait for my other car parts to come. Still waiting on that. Um, but as for now, we're just gonna let the car warm up a little bit, get the oil nice and uh, thin so it flows out nice and easy, and I'll catch you guys when we start draining it. Alright, so the car's warmed up. I moved it across the street so I don't have to worry about getting ran over. So, um, I was explaining in my last video that there was a noise coming from the intake. There was a fat ass hole in it. If you were following my Instagram, you would have seen that, but that's not important. So, we're gonna fucking unscrew this right here, get the oil to kind of seep out a bit. I'm gonna put some gloves on. Don't wanna have my hands all, all dirty during this. Um, but I'll catch you guys when we start doing that. Alright, so I've got the tools that we're gonna be using. Um, this is a regular old crescent wrench, uh, adjustable wrench, not crescent wrench, my bad. And then a, a socket toolkit. Um, mine's not all that complete, but for the most part, I have the majority of the bits. Um, and then a jack stand, which I'm gonna go grab, and then we'll start lifting, we'll start lifting the car up and get into the oil change. Okay, so my mom decided to throw my fucking oil pan away. Just doesn't make any sense at all. Um, so we have to go to the auto parts store. That means we're gonna be taking the crowd killer. Yes, I said it, the crowd killer, guys. All right, $45 later, I got my new baby. Like that, mm-hmm. All right, so now we can finally get to the oil change. Hopefully it doesn't get too dark by the time I get home. My baby will have to adjustable wrench. Yeah, loosen this up. Make sure you don't break it. Okay. Oh, that's, that's loose. Set that aside. You want to be careful on screwing this because you don't want oil to spill everywhere. Otherwise, you're going to get the EPA all over you. Okay. Oh, yeah, that is extremely dirty. First, we're gonna grab our, our good fellow right here. Yeah. Set this bitch right here. Oh, shoot, the oil filter's broken. Look at that, broken half. Look at that. So this is what happens when you don't change an oil on a car for too long. <laughs> it just kind of gets, goes, oh, to, wow, goes to shit. So we're gonna have to be careful pulling this off because you don't want oil everywhere. Oh my god, this is disgusting. This oil filter is literally crumbling. It's been there for a long time. Oh yeah. That drip. Okay, so I mean, it doesn't really matter if you drop a little bit of that in. Your oil filter is like this. Give it a little closer. So, look at this. This, this is just crumbling. Disgusting. It shouldn't ever be like that. Um, usually you want to replace these O-rings, but since I don't have any to replace with, it's fine, I guess. Yeah. 
we're gonna make buy off it. Um, we're gonna clean this up real quick, and then we're gonna drain the oil. This is uh, Jason Story here. We are reporting in for duty. We're gonna be uh, fixing this BMW right here. We're also gonna salute the flag. Now, since we're done with the oil filter part, we're gonna get under here. Nice and deep, boy. Excuse me, more. This is gonna shoot out. I'm trying to figure out where I wanna stick this son of a bitch. Get it a little loose first. It's okay if we get a little oil. Street sweepers will sweep it up. Alright, let's not drop this in the oil pan. Hold on, give it a little bit of a few. All right, that's draining. Finally, Second the oil is so black it is disgusting. You can smell it. Yeah, this is nasty oil. Should not look like this. It smells burnt. <laughs> yeah. Put my little drain nut right there. Oh, look, the hands are pretty nasty. Okay, so make sure you take off the old O-ring. You can put them. You can just use a flathead. I didn't have a flathead in hand at the time, so I decided to do that. I'm going to put the new one. This one's way more flimsy than this one. This one's like all old, you know. Definitely oil hasn't been changed in a really long time. So. <laughs> Got the new one on. We're going we're gonna to take a little bit of new motor oil. We'll just give it a nice little twisty disty. And what you want to do is just dip your finger in it, like so, and uh, rub that up real good, get that nice and lubed. And then, oh wait, can't do that right away, right guys? Um, yeah, stick this bad boy in, like so. Like that, there we go. Better. a lot of things are all starting to dry rot. Yeah, I mean, the car is 15 years old. What do you expect? Something that never gets driven or taken care of. Ooh. This is, you know, sad when people don't take care of their cars. Let's give it one more little half turn. I think that's pretty much good. It's all chewed up now from this fucking wrench. That's why I use a socket, but you know, when you don't have a socket in hand, uh, that's what happens. Under the car again, we're gonna put the drain cloth back in. Is it still draining? Oh, a little bit, yeah, a little bit of runoff still coming through. <laughs> no, that's fine. Yeah, it's really um, so we're gonna put the drain plug back in and then. Oh, yeah, easy. Uh, easy. No, I was just seeing how heavy, how full it was. So, um, drain plug goes back in, and then also don't forget to put this. Oh, there it is. This nut on the drain plug. It's kind of a walker, I guess. Okay. Helps seal it up a little. Do yeah. Just feed this back in. Feeling good. Okay. Right, Start it through. Oh, it's not dripping oil anymore. 
washer on it but just never noticed it was there so toss that in the trash pile don't need it anymore and uh, let's, let's get to tightening this thing in one day I'm gonna have to come under here and detail it I'm just even take it through Put a bunch of degreaser before I go into the car wash that does like the uh, that does the uh, they have like a thing that sprays under your car. Oh. Look, it's doing it itself. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, I think whoever had this car just kind of never really took care of it. It's just sad, I mean, the bushings are rotted on the lower control arms and all that shit, but... Yeah, no, they were just filling it up with gas and driving. And, and the engine still runs, the engine still runs great, which is a fucking awesome thing. You don't find a, a car that has this many miles and runs fucking good. Clean that up. The hummingbird teeth. <laughs> Cheers. Alright, so let's start pouring this. Pouring this good stuff in. Full synthetic, baby. Nothing but the best. Can't be putting that crap into your motor and expect it to keep running. Always stay on top of oil changes, too, guys. It really makes a difference for your motor. I'd say like every 4,000 probably with a BMW. About, about 5,000. It's probably good with a BMW. The more, the more, yeah. I mean, you could, if you really want to be fucking crazy, you could do it every 1,000 miles, but for sure. <laughs> Scratch that, but you know, whatever. BMW. Oh, that ain't too bad. Start the car. Now let's check our oil again. 
the car's already running much better than it was before. I mean, I think it should be fine. You added the seven quarts, or you added six quarts, it looks like. Six quarts, yeah. I don't want to do another quart if it doesn't need it. And hold off on it just for a moment I mean, until you know. It's a little low. We'll put out about, out about another half quart in, and then maybe later on down the road, we'll uh, put another quart, put the rest of it in just to kind of pop it off. Make sure it's doing the proper thing. Alright, we're gonna add about half of this just to kind of make sure we're not too low on oil but not too high, you know, just maybe just a little bit more. That should be about good. Then we get in there, just have that in your trunk just in yeah, case you yeah, check it when it actually warms up. Sure it doesn't burn oil either, so that right. it's burning oil I can see. It doesn't seem like it is, but I mean even what the just fuck? From, I need to get a new reservoir. Not this, but like the actual pump on it is it just doesn't even work. Or the lines are so fucked up but there fucking ants in there? Is there? <laughs> there's fucking ants. No there is. <laughs> Probably what's Help uh, remove debris off the windshield. <laughs> yeah. BMW. It's a goddamn German car, but it still runs pretty good. Old piece of shit. Chevy. Since uh, now we're gonna <laughs> drop the car. <coughs> Basically, that's it. I'll just change your oil. On a BMW. Next video is going to be uh, a bunch of other stuff, but for now, this should, be, this should be about it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like and maybe comment and see what you guys think. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, homies. <laughs>